Here we're going to see the notorious double shift of the supply curve in perfect competition in response to a change in variable cost. So what is useful to do is to draw first one firm and the industry big Q for output of the industry, little q for output of the firm, and start with where we're going to start and where we know we're going to end up. So the idea is that, let's call that the original average total cost and the original equilibrium point for the firm. And what we know is that the cost falls. And just to make life easy for ourselves, let's draw it this way so that we remind ourselves that we're going to end up in our final equilibrium point at the same level of output for the firm. EO and EF are in a vertical line. Now, what happened? Marginal cost fell. At every level of output, marginal cost is now lower. MCO, original marginal cost. MCF, the final marginal cost. How much did it fall? It fell by exactly that much, the distance between EO and EF. Now, what does that tell us? Originally, The firm was on that demand curve, PO equal to marginal revenue. That's why we were producing at QO in long run equilibrium in perfect competition. EO was long run equilibrium, EF is the new long run equilibrium. So at the end of the day, we're going to be in long run equilibrium on some new demand curve at PF. Okay. Well, the question is why? What's going on over in the industry? We know that the original supply curve and demand curve must have met. PO came to the firm from the industry. So the original supply curve, I'm not drawing this great, but the original supply curve and the original demand curve must have met there. That's why the firm's original demand curve was DO. Okay, now what happens? The double shift The whole idea of the double shift, it's the double shift of the industry's supply curve. The supply curve shifts twice. The first shift from SO to S prime, let's call it. Well, first is SO to S prime. The second shift is going to get us to SF. Now, let's skip straight to the end of the story. At the end of the story, price is going to be down here at PF. Because at the end of the story, we're going to be at EF and QF, which along the way, just pause to notice this, there's no contradiction here. The individual firm will be producing the same amount, QF, as it was at the beginning, QO. The industry will be producing more. Contradiction? No, because there are more firms in the industry. We'll get to that in a sec, but just notice that. Okay. Back to EF. At the end of the day, we're going to be 
on that supply curve, SF. But it took two shifts to get us there, and that's what we need to see. The first shift, there's an intermediate short-run equilibrium as a result of, in the short run, every firm's marginal cost curve dropping. When the typical firm's marginal cost curve drops by this much, that's how much the industry's supply curve drops. Since the industrial supply curve is everybody's marginal cost curve added up, if everybody's marginal cost curve drops by that amount, then so does the industry's curve. So, the drop in supply, or rather, the drop in the supply curve from SO to what I'll call S prime How much does it drop in the short run? It drops by the amount of the fall in marginal cost. Price falls, but it does not fall all the way to PF in the short run because of the slope of the demand curve. We have a short run equilibrium here, call this E prime. We have a short run equilibrium at P prime, Q prime. And what's happening there? Well, in the short run, the firm is confronted with this price P prime. And what does the firm do? Well, the firm says the price is P prime my marginal cost curve has dropped to MCF, so if I want to maximize profits, I'll produce there at E prime, where MC equals MR, and in the short run, I'll produce some amount Q prime. So in the short run, the firm does produce a little bit more, but in the long run, the firm's going to go back to QF. Why does the firm go back to QF? Because the price falls. Why does the price fall? Because there's entry. Why is there entry? There's entry because in the short run, the firm's going to make some profit. At output QF, excuse me, Q prime, at output Q prime, the short run equilibrium, price is P prime, output is Q prime. In the short run, thanks to the fall in its costs, green seems an appropriate color, the firm is making a short run profit pi prime, economic profit. Because there's an economic profit, there'll be entry. Entry, increase in the number of firms in response to the short run economic profit, is what gives us the shift from S prime to SF. So there are two shifts to this of the supply curve. The first shift, SO to S prime, is a result of the fall in marginal cost. Takes us to E prime, where the typical firm is making a profit. Because the typical firm is making a profit, there's a second shift. The second shift is due to entry, takes the price down to PF, at PF, the firm is at the bottom of its new average total cost curve, ATC2, excuse me, let's call it ATCF. At the bottom of the new average total cost curve, at EF, we are back in long run equilibrium, zero economic profit, no more reason for entry, and output is back, QF is equal to QO. And that's the double shift.